Hi, this week's vlog is about what you deeply believe and why that is what matters. So last week we spoke about our ideas versus our beliefs and how just wanting something um, or desiring something is not enough to um, bring it into your life or to make it happen for yourself. So this week's blog we're going to focus on why our beliefs matter so much. Because we can plan our lives and at work we can plan projects but have you ever noticed how you can um, work really, really, really hard and um, a project just seems effortless to bring into um, creation? Um, and Or if you're trying to personally make um, something happen for yourself, um, sometimes it's just effortless, it just comes to you. And that is um, really because our ideas and our desires come from a different part of the brain to um, how our deep beliefs are formed. And what you believe about yourself and your circumstances is truly what matters. So in order to understand beliefs, we need to talk about the brain. So the conscious part of the brain, which can be represented by the tip of the iceberg, runs about 10% of our processes and reactions. And this is where our desires and ideas are created. Like I want health in my life. I want to attract in love. I want to build success. Now, the conscious part of the brain is really powerful, even though it only runs 10% of our processes and reactions. Um, this part of the brain is in your awareness. So I'm wearing a green jumper and you can see that and that is in your awareness. And when we are calm, we can create from this part of the brain. And this is when we're more in the moment. So an example of being in the moment is for being in the honeymoon stage when you're in love or you're falling in love, where you're really conscious about what you're wearing or you're really conscious about your etiquette uh, and your behavior because you're trying to be and show the best version of yourself. And when two people are doing that together, it creates a beautiful vibe and energy. And then eventually you start thinking about other things outside of the moment, like what you have to do, work, finances, and we fall out of this honeymoon stage. Um, as opposed to the subconscious part of the brain. So the subconscious part of the brain is one million times more uh, powerful than the conscious because it can process more data. And we divert to this part of the brain when we are stressed. Now, our subconscious part of the brain also handles what we deeply believe. So our beliefs are formed from a really young age um, and from age zero to six, they say we are in our most suggestible state then because our brains haven't fully formed um, to be able to decide that's your stuff or no, that's mum's stuff, that's dad's stuff. And we're still absorbing um, like a sponge so much information in our environment to learn how to be in this world. And so if um, you pick up or learn negative beliefs and you start believing that about yourself, um, and we can do that from our environment around us or from something stressful that happens and we, you know, we decide one day because we were bullied at kindergarten, um, you know, that we're not likable, or we're not lovable, and we hold on to that sometimes for the rest of our lives. And because we haven't changed our minds about that, we, um, how we show up in the world um, and the decisions that we make and how much you will shine will be dictated. Um, but the most profound thing I have discovered with all of this work is it also affects the health of your body. So what you deeply believe will be a mirror image of how you will respond in your environment and how you will create things for yourself, but also whether you're choosing growth and repair or survival and protection mode two different biochemistries that will typically fire and two different mindsets we're often in. Um, so I, on my journey and in my life, I typically notice that when I really believe something can be possible, I tend to uh, create it much faster. This also creates a harmony in my body. So much of my life growing up, I didn't believe in myself, um, especially after being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, I started to really believe I wasn't okay um, and that I wasn't going to be able to achieve um, all the goals I had in my life. And this led to a destructive path of more inflammation and stress um, and sabotage. But, you know, as I started to um, shift that, um, and I started to change my mind about what could be possible. When I started to walk again, wow, my, my entire world opened up.
because when I started to believe in myself, other people started to believe in me too. Slowly that started to change my mind about what could be possible for my life walking again, my life living with this disease, falling in love, having my own family, running my own business, all this started to become possible. And that felt so good inside of my heart and my body. It created such harmony in my body that for 10 years now, um, it's just improved more and more every single year. I feel healthier than I did before I even got sick. So how, what you deeply believe will dictate the decisions you make, how you'll show up, um, and the biochemistry of your body. And so um, in closing, enjoy this week's blog on about what you deeply believe and why it matters. So remember that when you're stressed, you're gonna to divert to the old programs that, um, that are often negative because to keep you alive, the brain does its job by um, entertaining worst case scenarios because that's the safest way. So if you can bring yourself back into the moment, there is a time for thinking of the past and thinking of the future. But there is, um, the trick is to bring yourself back into the moment as often as frequently as you can. Because in this honeymoon stage, when you're in the moment, you can create a new you and you can change your mind about what you believe can be possible. Thanks guys, see you next week.